Uh, so Renaissance is uh, a group of artists uh, working together uh, primarily through hip hop and spoken word, uh, but it's also open to other art forms of expression, primarily with music that's dealing with spirituality, uh, social justice, and uh, personal change, and also community change. Um, so I uh, initially started at UMass Dartmouth in 2001, and uh, it's continued on since. How has Connecting for Change and the Marion Institute been instrumental in your life? Um, years ago, I was very involved in the um, anti-war movement. Um, and during that period of time, I felt uh, that the world was in a dark place. Um, and even going to conferences and, and rallies and such, I didn't leave empowered. I felt a release of my voice and my frustration with what was going on because I felt like, you know, that being empathetic for what was going on in Iraq and knowing that children and young men were getting sent over the wall was so, so painful. And it was such a, a dark period of time. And um, after a couple of years of what I felt was like a banging my head against a wall, um, I kind of checked out. I think I burnt out. Um, I stopped doing art. I stopped doing poetry. I stopped being involved in the social activism and, and being involved. I started working in the deli and just, I'm going to check out and just worry about me and my family now. I'm, I, I can't do this anymore. I, I was unhealthy in my process of doing the work even beforehand. It wasn't sustainable. It was like you're running and running and running and there was no rest. And um, um, via my job um, at Youthville New Bedford, uh, we've been participating in Connecting for Change, and we came, and um, it was a wake-up call, and it was refreshing to be in an environment that was bringing the, the, the elements of those rallies that I liked, which was the, the fact that you had other people that were like-minded with you. I had those elements, but it wasn't, the energy of it was very different. Um, the energy is more, uh, more calm, more refreshing, more empowering, and... Um, just like the ideas that I was hearing here, the people I was meeting, more so I think just the, the, the collective energy of that many people being in the same room and being about um, solutions and uh, less of a focus of what's wrong and more of a focus on what we could do that's better. Um, sometimes it's easy to attack and criticize what's wrong, but what's the alternative? And, and that's what I found that was refreshing here was the ideas. Um, it literally uh, inspired me. Um, it was such a beautiful experience the first time, and it has been, this is the fourth year I've been coming to the conference. It's, it's remained that, it's different for me now, and uh, I find more and more uh, the conversations I have with people one-on-one -on -one are some of the things that are the most important in sustaining that connection with the people that you meet. Because um, sometimes you meet people, they're amazing people, and then you go back into the day-to-day -day life you have. And I think that's the one thing that's hard about this conference is like seeing it end and then waiting a year for it to happen again. But as I'm becoming more mature and, and realizing the importance of the work I have to do to keep them connections intact, um, I'm hoping that you know, uh, the people I meet will, will continue throughout the year and it'll just be a reunion next year when we come back.